I want to talk about my favorite fish right now, which is known as the Texas Cichlid. Uh, I've been obsessed with these guys for a couple weeks now, and I guess it's really their... They're, they're always moving, they're always, uh, they always have something going on, and they're super fun to watch. Uh, they're called Texas Cichlids because they're originally from waters of northern Mexico slash Texas, so they're North American Cichlids. And I have this tank right next to my desk here, hence the chair. And I specifically did that because I love these fish, and they're so cool to watch when I'm kind of just chilling out from getting away from my computer and such so I just want to give you guys uh, a setup or I mean a view of what this tank looks like when setting up a tank for Texas cichlids you're probably going to want uh, a mildly aggressive fish that can hold down their own sort of say because these fish are always screwing with each other I've already had one die of just being harassed I guess to death sort of say and right now I think I have six of them in here. There is one different South American in there. I actually had issues with him in another tank because he was too aggressive, so I figured he would do okay in this tank. And he has, he's a little beaten up because I think he's pushing his boundaries as far as some of these fish. That one is actually my favorite. It is said to, for him to have been a wild Texas cichlid. Uh, that's what some people have said in some groups. Um, but these fish are always digging caves. Uh, you always want to make sure that they have tons of hiding spots. That's why I have all these pipes in the tank. They're constantly zigzagging through there. Um, this cave is also a nice uh, hiding spot for them. And I actually find them once in a while picking on my Pleco. I'm getting a little worried about that, but the Pleco's doing a darn good job cleaning the tank, so I'm gonna let him do his thing for now. Um, these fish grow to about a foot long, so you're gonna want to watch it as far as getting too many of them and wanting a big enough tank for them to grow into, obviously. You know the drill when it comes to some of these fish. You buy them small and then all of a sudden you need a huge tank. But I do have a lot of tanks here in the fish room, that's one nice thing. But yeah, they get a foot long. Um, they are obviously just general tropical temperatures, anywhere between 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a 55 right now. And I would say the longest one in here is maybe three inches long. Yeah, so I can't urge though enough of how much I love these fish. Um, they're just fun to watch. They're full of bright, vivid colors, and I would highly advise anyone who's thinking about getting some of them. To just go for it because they're awesome fish. Um, don't put them with super mellow angel fish though or something you know kind of feel it out this is an intermediate fish make sure you kind of know what you're doing and who you're mixing these fish with so with that being said i guess that is a wrap on taking care of texas cichlids um just a generic diet i feed them a pretty protein heavy diet because i'm wanting them to grow pretty fast but they are omnivores yeah, I think that about wraps it up. They're really easy to take care of. Um, I looked up online some care guides, and it's said to do, like, rigorous water changes. But I haven't done any of that, and these fish are just flourishing in their tank. You know, I just do the generic. Uh, I test, and a lot of my tanks, this is off topic, but I do a water change once a month because they're just they're established and they've been going they've been running for a really long time blah, blah 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 that's beside the topic of texas cichlids but anyways keep your water clean keep your fish happy and uh rock on all right cool guys